friction growing right now between the White House and the Israeli government over Israel's military operations in Gaza. Today, President Joe Biden's top diplomat is in Israel. The same day, the United Nations Security Council votes down an American-led resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. NBC's Alice Barr has more. This council... Deep disappointment at the United Nations Security Council after Russia and China blocked a U.S.-led resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza, along with the release of all remaining Hamas-held hostages and increased aid for Palestinian civilians. For all the fiery rhetoric, we all know that Russia and China are not doing anything diplomatically to advance a lasting peace. The U.S. has previously vetoed resolutions for an immediate ceasefire without conditions, arguing that removes the incentive for hostage negotiations that are underway, brokered by the U.S., Qatar and Egypt. Today, one former hostage sharing the horror of her 54 days in Hamas captivity. All I can say to myself is that we probably are going to be raped and we probably are going to be killed. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Israel for tense talks with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, centered on humanitarian aid and urging Israel not to launch a full-scale ground assault on the overcrowded city of Rafa. It risks killing more civilians. It risks uh, wreaking greater havoc with the provision of humanitarian assistance. It risks further isolating Israel uh, around the world. It comes as a new U.N.-backed report warns that famine is imminent, especially in northern Gaza. Aid agencies pressing for more land crossings into the besieged enclave. People are starving to death, and that's the bottom line here, and we need to get in. Desperation for civilians in the line of fire with no resolution in sight. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.